does not see impossibilities. That's, that's what I think is his main strength. Handsome, wavy black hair, sparkling eyes. John was the one who brought everybody together to achieve the goal of excellence. John's never met a stranger. Uh, he can meet someone and within an hour, you feel like you've known him forever. Graceful, debonair, he was a sight to behold. He is, is in the fabric of Fort Worth Artistic Society so far that you can't even pick out which threads are related to John. He's just part of the fabric. I think my greatest frustration that I run into almost daily is that I want to do so much so fast and I don't have the time to do it. He installed the Fort Worth Symphony as, as a major player in the arts in Fort Worth. He and Ed Koonsman were were very particular about the Fort Worth Symphony being relevant. He took an orchestra as a chamber orchestra and it brought the orchestra to a very high level of, 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 of playing. He was wonderful with the orchestra, uh, particularly the youth orchestra. He treated us in a professional manner. He expected us to be prepared. He expected us to rise to the highest possible level that we could. And then you look at the Fort Worth Symphony and when John took it over it was, I think it's fair to say, it was a shadow of what it is today and what he brought it. There are many symphony members who uh, benefited from Maestro Giordano's conducting of the youth orchestra. In fact, they serve in many roles around the country and the world. He was a, a jazz saxophonist who toured. He actually recorded on a record album of Frank Sinatra. I think that John has always had a vision of Fort Worth as somewhere that is an artistic mecca and has wonderful players and that you don't have to go to New York to find players at the level. And he's been such a staunch supporter of arts in general. What John brought to the club, and I think is uh, first a vision of excellence, caring about also, he cares so deeply about the young pianists, and that's important too. Uh, if you have somebody who, is, who has that sort of Texas-sized sense of what is possible and what is not possible, um, then if somebody refuses to see boundaries or limitations, they, they cease to exist. That is a great strength. I don't know, I wasn't here, but I expect without John and, and his effort and influence, uh, we might not have Bass Hall. What he's done for this city is truly extraordinary. He is still serving our community with dedication and loyalty. He always made sure that I was exposed to the right people or people that could help me that, that gregarious nature of his is not something that he has to put on. He has so many things to be proud of over the years, but he's always thrilled to play with someone else. And he's, he's thrilled to feature somebody uh, with the orchestra. He's thrilled to reconnect with someone. And I think that uh, that genuine warmth that he shows to everyone he meets, whether they're world famous or not, is uh, one of the biggest hallmarks of John is a person. And he's just as funny as you can be. I mean, his stories go on and on and on. I can't tell you how many times I've heard his stories. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard the same story many, many times. He, he's just an icon. Mm -hmm.